The government made good threat that all civil servants who failed to appear for the biometric registration will be sacked. And beginning this month, more than 12,000 civil servants who ignore the registration exercise directive have been struck out of the payroll. Devolution and planning cabinet secretary Anwe Goro while delivering the harsh reality directed that salaries for affected persons should be terminated with immediate effect. The Intergovernmental Steering Committee has deliberated and agreed on the following. One, to continue prioritizing the CAPS program to its successful conclusion. Two, direct the two levels of government to stop the salaries of the 12,510 employees who have failed to show up for the exercise with immediate effect. The next step will be to examine each department, maybe each county, and find who is really responsible, who might have made an error of continuing to pay somebody who is not there. The cabinet secretary who jointly issued the statement with the Council of Governors head of the social welfare, James Ongwai, said the exercise also found that some officers beyond the 60 years of age limit were still drawing salaries. We noted the existence of officers who are above 60 years who are not on contract or state officers and therefore have directed that they be retired in line with their terms of service. Unaweza kusema wako ghost workers, lakini vile tunasema sasa tunawatoa kwa, kwa payroll. Tukiwatoa kwa payroll pengine kuna mmoja ambao atakuja asema alikuwa mgonjwa ama alikuwa hivi. So wakati ambao tutasema kabisa kwamba Awa ni ewa vile ulunasema, pengine mwezi wa pili by next year, January, February. The 12,510 employees are part of the expected 172,522 public civil servants under scrutiny. The registration is part of the wider capacity assessment and rationalization of public service program aimed at weeding out civil servants who do not meet the threshold. The program kicked off in September and is expected to run until February next year.